Wowzers, Sarah, this is <laughs> quite some villa, isn't it? We are at uh, absolutely stunning, very large, brand new. Well, habitation license was issued last year. Yeah, well, nobody's ever lived here, yeah. As yet, unlived in, super, super luxury villa. We are 10 minutes from Marina Grande, 20 minutes from Luria. 10 minutes from Luria, isn't it? Well. Yeah. It's, it's not far. We have, if you do a glance around, you can see that we have houses around, but we are in the countryside. It's a quiet road. And the property itself is absolutely amazing quality. This was built as a family home. Circumstances have it, sometimes they change. Uh, that's what's happened here. So as we come in, you can see the garden here has been planted up nicely. It's very self-contained, established, low maintenance plants. Yeah, it's all super low maintenance, isn't it, Sarah, taking the slug of water? And it goes around the side of the property there. Yeah. And the driveway goes all the way down to the rear of the property where there's land and space for a pool if you wanted a pool. Um, yeah. I'd just like to bring, bring up early on that we are getting contacted uh, a lot now to put properties on. Mm -hmm. So if you do want to stay in touch... Do like and subscribe. Bing. Okay, so we come across here. You can see the, the detailing. Before I got to the property and had a proper look at it, I was querying some things. But the quality is just, uh, I'll put the water down in a minute. The quality of the windows, the lintels, all of them. The guttering, the drainage, just there Everything. is... Everything. The lady that designed this property has been doing it for some years and she does a very good job. Yeah, I mean... The guttering down into the water, the, the things that most people forget. Um, yeah, should we lovely. take a walk down, down the bottom? Oh, into oh, the okay. Yeah, into the courtyard area. What, and then walk back up again? And then, well, no, so we're going through the... What, let's just walk down here. Okay, Sarah. what he means is do what you're told. And uh, <laughs> that is not what I meant at all. I do what we're trying to save the house. So we come down into the lower courtyard garden area, and the first thing you come to, of course, you know, it's got vehicular access all the way down, and there is a pool house. There's well, a pool. Um, <laughs> but I mean, well, we, I'm guessing there could be there. Yes, can I just think? Yeah. So we've got, I think it's 890 square meters, 900 square meters. This was on, designed to have a pool put in. Yeah. Um, if you wanted a pool, the owner would organize and, and sort that out for you. Yeah. Um, if you walk around here, but that's what this area was designated, designated for. But obviously, this could be put to grass and turned into a yeah, you know. if you don't want to pull. You might want to hide. You don't don't hide. To. No, you're in. You're in. <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't have to okay. hide. We're, 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 lady here. We're, we, so I was just clever, saying how clever you are. But it? here's, the, um, here's the barbecue, uh, which, is, which is already installed. Yeah, so right where the pool would be. Put a pergola up here, nice and shady. If you had a pool, it's a lovely outside entertainment area. Yeah, this, you, you can this. imagine relaxing here, can't you? I mean, you well, really this can. is not what you'd call a pool house. This is a separate apartment. Well, it, it is. Are we going to go in? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah I think things yeah. we're here. Yeah. I mean, I can't wait to get back into that house. I mean, the, the kitchen oh, the kitchen alone is... <laughs> got me. You can turn around. Come here and just turn around. It, it is just amazing. It, it, it is. The... Um, I mean, look at that. The lintels on the garage. Yeah. The railings, everything. It's a very pretty property. No, it definitely has curb appeal. And you're right, actually. I mean, the lintels even on the garage. But this, throughout this property, it's, it's the same. Everywhere you go, you think, wow, the attention to detail and the quality that's been put into 
just about every part and of it. The floors are the same throughout, which is a nice. I'm going to carry on calling it the pool house just to annoy Sarah. But so this is like a super posh bathroom. Big bath. <laughs> and they just get posher as you get into the house. Yeah. Um, it, so this I mean, is clearly set up to be a kitchen. Lab, it is actually, isn't diner, it? Diner, bedroom, studio apartment that goes out onto the pool. It's got plumbing, it's got all the rest of it. Or just an entertainment bar. It's a big house. And um, yeah. you can, whatever use you want. It's got the electrics, it's got the lights, it's got the plumbing. You can turn this into whatever you want. It's got a lovely bathroom and it's completely independent from the main property. Yeah, I'm really struggling with okay. yeah. All the windows are the well, push pull. Push and pull. <laughs> and the front door is glazed. Right. We'll come round again. So. Now, I know you want to get into the house, but yeah, well, you I'm going, to go I'm, through the garage? Yeah, I'm doing, I am. Okay. Going in, in <laughs> this incredible, I think it might be the biggest one I've ever seen. I mean, just imagine your car collection in here. <laughs> <laughs> Your bike collection. You, if, you, if you ever wanted a garage... Running a business or... ...to um, have a vintage car collection or a car collection. It goes on and on and on. It is absolutely enormous. It really is something else. Uh, absolutely. I tell Paul not to say the word cavernous, but I have to agree, it is cavernous. Yeah, I mean, it's very echoey. I'm not quite sure how that's going to... The further into the depths we go. But, but yeah. So, this is Man Cave Extraordinaire. Or Woman Cave, whatever you want. Yeah, I just want to point out the, um, the machinery. So, again, all high-tech system. The, the house is run on an air pump. Um, ground source heat, heat yeah. is it? Yeah, ground source heat pump, isn't it? Okay. And it's all solar, which um, you'll see from a view upstairs. Yeah. All the roofs, on, all the rooms on that exterior apartment have got uh, solar panels and yeah. all the rest of it. The bedrooms have also all got individual timers for the temperatures yeah. to be changed. So I imagine the energy rating is is very good for a house of this size, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's great. So I think we should go. Why don't we just go up the stairs? Because that's another really... Door, surely. No. Let's get the grandeur. Oh, okay, do that. What I wanted to show, and I'll, I, but I'll show it another way, was it's the poshiest stairs I've ever seen to a basement in my life. Well, you can walk down them, darling. It's <laughs> just amazing. I thought this goes to the garage. Nobody, you know, the posher than our... Well, they're definitely posher than our stairs. I'm so excited about garages, doesn't they? I do. It's a man thing. Right, we are allowed to walk across here because I followed the owner. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll follow your lead. Okay. So, coming into the house. Very nice green door here. Plus, what was that? A change break? Taking Stephen's green door. Made behind the green door. Yeah, that's the one. It's a real random one. That, that was taking Stephen's, wasn't it? Reminds me of my mother. Right. Come on, you. Yeah. Let's get in the look of everything. Yeah. So, right. lovely wide hallway because we know everybody Massive. loves the hallway. Yeah. Everybody loves a hallway. Sarah particularly loves hallways. Always good to make a nice entrance. It is. So obviously you'd have your cupboards and whatever you need here. The stairs, actually, if you were to come back here, we would swap places. Yeah. It also gives you, if you look up the stairs, and you turn around and take in that, because that was something that the owners particularly wanted changed her mind on the plans and opened it up so the stairs could be seen. Yeah. It adds an element. I think that, that, yeah, was definitely a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, if the house is divided. On the right, we've got the kitchen, lounge, diner, and on the left, we have the bedrooms, which we've got a similar thing in our house. It works very well. 
Should we go into the... No. <laughs> I'm going to do the bedrooms. You're saving the kitchen. I am saving the it kitchen. It is a very, very posh. It is an amazing kitchen. High-tech kitchen. So, where are you going? Okay, mm -hmm. this is the smallest room. There's tiny yeah. little space here. Well, it's nice. It's actually tiny. Isn't it? I'm, I'm being sarcastic. Oh, right. Sorry. Get on bushy humour. Right. So, this one going out to the side of the property. Yeah. It's a good size double. Yeah. I mean, that that's that's actually for a two by two bed. Yeah. So they're not even allowing for just normal double beds, darling. You've yeah. got your, your plugs are there for a two by two bed. Yeah, for a proper um, one for a bed. Yeah. And this is your heating system, your Wi Fi, everything there. Now all of the cupboards are ex exceptional quality. Okay. Yeah. Actually it's worth the brands. <laughs> Why does that happen to me? Every time. Not every time. Actually, I don't know if they know. Yeah, yeah they, they are. are. They are, yeah. And these hinges, for example. Yeah, they're know, all soft clothes. Everything is excellent quality. Yeah. They light up inside some of them as well, yeah. I've noticed, which, which is quite amazing. And they're all the same inside. Yeah. So this is the smallest of the bedrooms. Okay. And this is the bathroom to facilitate two of the bedrooms. I love that. I love these mirrors, these lit up mirrors. Uh, with the lights behind. Yeah, I think they're really and nice. This was a tub as well. Yeah, a full tub. Yep. With a shower. Frosted glass, air vents, temperature control. Yeah. Everything. It's got all the bells and whistles. The brands of everything are yeah. very good quality. Yeah, very high quality. This one. So coming in here, again, we've got the cupboard doors open. This one just looks out to the front. I mean, even the curtain everything. It's all very swish. And that's what I was talking about earlier, about the lighting in the, um, in the wardrobes. There we go. So you just got to go. Yes, the lighting in the wardrobe. It didn't work. It wasn't on in the other no, one. No, no. I noticed the script. But yeah. 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 yeah, they just, they, they do it. If you move your finger underneath, um, when you open them, they'll come on for a time. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just having a look because they're all, yes. And they're all the same. It's lovely. Yeah. They're going to last for years. Fantastic. And the colour throughout the house is lovely because it's, it's neutral, but it's not white. No. Uh, this is your master. So you just look at the size. And I, I really, really do like the dividers done like this. You've got a bit of cover to your... Oh, I can't remember what's in that one. Um, it's a sneaky one. Well, do, do you want to have a sneaky look? Because I can't. Oh, in fact, okay. I, I, I'll be honest, I haven't even noticed it. It's extra. It's just extra wardrobe. It's just extra wardrobe. Like, okay, yeah. A sneaky one there. Yeah. Beyond. Because it was very sh short of wardrobe okay. space. So you what? As you were about to see. Ah, this, yes. Ta da! Look at this. This is just like so, every, a paradise, isn't it? That, oh, I know I what it was. This. That was the man's wardrobe over in the corner, wasn't it? Right, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get it now. Right, you see? Jewelry drawer. Yeah. This is this one there. And shoe rack. Yeah, that's just posh. I mean, it is. So we're impressed. Yeah, we are. And everything's just the highest quality. Yeah, we are officially impressed. Yes. Housewives, it takes quite a lot to impress us. Yeah. Right, so, marvellous, large. Bedroom, small man's wardrobe in the corner, yeah. ladies' wardrobe here. Um, this is the back of the wardrobe. Ah, but I remember now here, because it's very clever lady, has put the storage on the other side for the bathroom. Ah, not that you've known. No, and here we have the ensuite clothes for the master bedroom. Yeah, I mean, it's another fabulous bathroom, isn't it? A shower. Shower room. I mean, the sh shower cubicle's massive. Gorgeous. And all the, all the uh, wash basins and, and mirrors and, 
uh, taps, all the fixtures, the fittings are all fabulous quality. Yeah. I guess just be up to you. This bedroom comes to the front. So you've got the nice garden there. Yeah. And it's so quiet, it's very private if you want to open it, but you've got the, the, the fabric blinds on the inside. You'd have a table and chairs out there. I mean, I would. You could do, yeah. yeah. But all of them have electric blinds on the outside as well. Yeah. They have all had Secur the security system. blinds. Yeah. This is just keeping it cool. Although we're definitely getting into autumn days. So, yeah, this is a fantastic ensuite. Again, you note know, the electric air control. It might be the pottiest wardrobe I think I've ever seen. I, I might have wardrobe envy. Yeah. And she's got a seriously impressive wardrobe. Downstairs. Yeah. That's the stairs. Do you, oh, do you want to glimpse the stairs? Can I? Oh. <laughs> you don't have to hide in the dark. <laughs> Come on. Oh, great. No, 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 the stairs now. There you go. Yeah. Uh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Right. Very, very impressive stairs <laughs> going down to the garage. That's I'm trying to out the garage, <laughs> yeah. Right, so am I allowed in the kitchen yet? Um, you want to go through the lounge? No, no, no. Oh, no, we'll do the lounge, yeah. Yes, I was just desperate to save the kitchen for last. I am a bit on the desperate side, yeah. See, everything is very good quality. That's not that solid. Yeah, it's just all growing. So, kitchen, which way around would you have it? You'd probably have, they've got this in the middle. Yeah. Uh, this is has all the piping in it for the air circulation system. Yeah. But what she's also created at the end here is a cupboard, more storage. Yeah, can I walk, can I, can I walk around to show? Yeah. It's like a double, you know, so I suppose half dining room, half living room. Yeah. Yeah. It's got that really nice fire place there in the corner. Lovely. Gas fire there. Yeah, gas fire. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Just to complement the system already, because I mean, it's really just for the look of it. Yeah. It wouldn't want to be warm enough in this house. It's very well insulated. Yeah, well, we've done the same at our house, haven't we? We just like, it's more for effect than anything when we, when we light our um, ethanol thingy we jiggy that we've got. But um, yeah, it just, just takes a chill off if you've got a slight yeah. chill. Yeah. yeah. And so we've got both sides. So I guess you would do dining room lounge, or then you probably put your lounge by. Or you yeah. end up eating at the side of the island here, which is enormous. Yeah, we'll get to that now because we're now in the kitchen. We're allowed in the kitchen. Tell yeah. you that you can. You're not allowed in the kitchen. Oh no, I'm not allowed in. You can just, uh, just close it off. Close off this wonderful lounge. Yeah. So come me into this absolutely fabulous kitchen. Which way round do you want to get? Well, we'll go. Yeah. Right so. Yeah. Large double fridge, all of the cupboards. We've got this lovely contrast between light and dark, gone all the way through the storage. Yeah, everything's tastefully done. Isn't everything's it? soft, soft clothes. clothes, high quality. Yeah, microwave, electric oven, as well as this huge gas oven, completely brand new, never used. Yeah. Six ring stove there. I do, any cupboard I pick is just going to be fabulous. Massive kitchen envy going on here, by yeah. the way. Yes, we're, we're on number there. I'm sure Paul's just making us do this twice just because he likes it. Um, <laughs> but here we go. I wanted to, okay, I'll come and show that. But underneath the island, it's all storage yeah. as well. Yeah. I was showing that. But yeah, we've got one of these groovy space saving corner contraptions. <laughs> How cool is that? I mean, in fact, you'd survive in the, if you filled all of these cupboards with food. Yeah. You wouldn't have to go out for months. No, would you? no, no, you definitely um, survive the zombie apocalypse. Oh, I know. We've also got the, uh, the bins, recycling bins yeah. built in. So yeah. that's very handy. Yeah. Next to the wash basin, kitchen sink, very nice that porcelain double sink, contrast colours. Oh, dishwasher, wine, wine cooler, cupboard, yeah, everything just really nice. And if you look at the this is two meters, isn't it? So we've got a two by three meter kitchen island. Obviously, there's the cupboards under here, but there's also the space to put stools so you could sit here and you can sit. Here yeah, I mean, it would actually be a, a really fun place to cook 
Yeah. You know, what when your mates give hang out with a glass of wine on the other side you of the hang out and you island. Go, go, yeah. Go. <laughs> yeah. So from here, um we've got back into it again, all the hallway spaces are very large. Yeah. This it's got electric there. Uh it's just it's a utility there. room, Love isn't it? it? Yeah. What could Love. be a dispenser? I mean there's no need. I mean the might well store well, dispenser is Portuguese for larger. Yeah, I know that then. But um, you know, it's a, you know it's a storage room for some sort. It's got the we'd, electricity. Yeah, uh, we'd say it was the laundry. We'd, then you find out that's next door. Yeah. Um, Let's call it the ironing room. Hold on a minute. We've got the laundry with an extra toilet and wash basin, and the washing machines and the dryer and the storage cupboard. Yeah. Obviously, but, next door's for your ironing. And yeah. Whatever else you could possibly think of to store, I don't know, a bag of bicycles. Yeah. But then, you know, there's a garage downstairs. I mean, you can have 50 bicycles in there. You wouldn't have bicycles up here, would you? So. You'd have 10 vintage cars downstairs, that here, one, bicycles. Before, I don't think we're going to go, but this is the walkway from the house down to. I'll, just, I'll do the walk and. Um, you do the walk? Yeah. Okay. Well, we've done upstairs, haven't we? We have. No, we haven't. <laughs> but there we go. Okay. Well, um, so I'll just come back. And then we'll go upstairs. Quickly close this area off. You've got children who need to sleep while you have a dinner party. Perfectly viable to do that. Yeah. The stairwell and the quality of the wood is gorgeous. And the height. And of course, everywhere you've got these vents. So these are circulation, and these are the heat pump. Now, this in its own right could be separate if you wanted it to. Yeah. It was designed for a very posh office, but this could be anything. So let, let's first of all, we just have here is a WC and wash basin, general use. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's a small double. Huge doorway here. Yeah. Even these got those posh mirrors in there. <laughs> Everything's just incredible, isn't it? Through. It's very nice to see someone's work, someone who's been redesigning properties for a while. Yeah. In here, we have. Really big bedroom. The second master bedroom. So this yeah. was for upstairs, basically. This has a large shower. Wash basin, WC. Yeah, it's all matching um, yes. bathroom appliances, aren't yeah. they, throughout the property? Okay. I like the fact that we have. It's the size, it's the sense of space. It, um, it's a big house. It's massive. It's big it house. just goes on and on. Uh, I mean, this, it, again. But it doesn't feel like that. But I... Next house, darling. Yeah. I, I do be. concede that I, I, <laughs> they are very, very nice wardrobes. They are very, very nice wardrobes indeed. I can get hidden wood. I know. I, mean, I, I, mean, <laughs> I thought our wardrobes were special, but these have been special. Really, 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 really special. Yeah, but wait until you see this room. So this is we've got an ensuite master bedroom up here. Yeah. Separate WC and wash basin there. Obviously, this hallway is large enough that you could actually put in, be used to it. But here, look at this. Yeah. This was designed what to do the you office do with space. It? <laughs> but it's plumbed. I noticed over there. There's water and yeah. um, everything. That was. I, I did question that. This was the bar, so you could get coffee, tea, wine, whatever. This was going to be a little bar area within yeah. the office. Yeah. Um, of course, it could just as easily be a bedroom, couldn't it? Well, second lounge. Yeah. I mean, it it can be wherever you choose it to be, really. Yeah. yeah but it's a yeah. lovely bedroom. I mean, if you just look at the views over there. Yeah. Well, I'm going to. Should we go onto the balcony? Yeah. And then we'll get the views by default. So here, yeah, something we we didn't put in. Water there. What so you can... we haven't put in. We've got outside taps. Let's not squabble about it. Not where I want them. No. Um, but what I mentioned before was um, those solar panels there. 
It's okay. When we get home, darling, I'll show you where the outside taps are. <laughs> Perfectly positioned to do your pot plants. Right, uh... <laughs> we'll video that. So, yeah, all the way around, just like rather incredible office, whatever it is you want to use it for. View of the driveway. And the neighbouring houses are all nice. Oh, wow, well, yeah. And it's, again, I mean, just the amount of money spent on lintels. Yeah. Must have been quite astronomic. And the yeah. floor. So an hour from Lisbon, 10 minutes to Lely, 10 minutes to Marina Grande, 20 minutes to the beach. Water. It's got a fantastic location, really. And it is very quiet. We actually yeah. haven't had cars that I've noticed go past. No. And those views out there were just in the countryside. Yeah. It's a great find, isn't it? It is indeed, yeah. So we just summarise here? Yeah, I think so. Lovely big chestnut tree well, behind you. Yeah. Can you just summarise there? Because uh, the, light, the light will be better. Oh, I'll get blinded. Hello, yeah. everyone. The one. So this is, well, it's something special, isn't it? We're obviously looking at the higher end of the market with this one, um, but it's worth every penny. And location, location, location. Uh, please do like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this beautiful quality property.